One packet, one drink, done. Sounds too good to be true? Let's talk about an antibiotic that actually makes that possible, Phosphomycin, also known by its brand name, Monurol. Hi, my name is Stan, and I'm a licensed pharmacist passionate about providing education on medications to help you make smarter health choices. And Phosphomycin is one of my favorites when it comes to treating uncomplicated urinary tract infections, especially in women. What makes it so appealing is its single-dose format. Just one three gram packet mixed with water, taken once, and for many patients, that's all that's needed. Phosphomycin works by inhibiting an enzyme called Murey, also known as enol pyruvyl transferase, which plays a critical role in bacterial cell wall synthesis. Without a proper cell wall, bacteria can grow or survive. And this mechanism makes phosphomycin effective against many common UTI causing bacteria including drug-resistant strains of E. coli and Enterococcus fecalis. But while it's a convenient option, it's not one-size-fits-all solution. Phosphomycin is FDA-approved specifically for uncomplicated UTIs in women. It's not meant for more serious infections like pyelonephritis, prostatitis, or recurrent UTIs, especially in men. Outside the U.S., phosphomycin is also available in an intravenous form. Uh, and it's used in hospital setting for more severe or drug-resistant infections, such as bacteremia, bone and joint infections, intra-abdominal infections, and even meningitis. In those cases, it's typically used in combination with other antibiotics and under close cl clinical monitoring. It's worth noting that IV phosphomycin is not currently FDA-approved in the United States, although research and use abroad continue to grow. If you've taken phosphomycin at home, it's simple. Pour the powder in the from the packet into three to four ounces of cool or room temperature water, stir it, and drink it right away. Avoid hot water and take it on an empty stomach, since food can delay absorption. Phosphomycin usually reaches peak levels in your bloodstream within two to four hours. And side effects are typically mild and may include headache, nausea, diarrhea, or vaginal irritation. Severe reactions are rare but should be reported immediately, especially if watery diarrhea, which could signal something more serious. So yes, sometimes one dose really is enough, as long as it's the right antibiotic for the right infection. Big thanks to my colleague Vanessa for helping with this content. Your insights were invaluable. And thank you for watching this educational video. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need it. Stay healthy and I will see you next time.